me to you, uh, have you ever had such a bad experience with someone that in the future, moving forward, you n no longer trust people you meet with that same first name? <laughs> That's a weird thing. <laughs> yeah, right? I think we all do that. I know it's not your fault, but I had a really bad time with a guy named Brennan once before, so fuck you, pal. <laughs> We all do that. I think we all probably have different little lists, though, little trigger names, right? Here's mine. Sorry, guys, no offense. I don't trust you if I meet you and your name is Chelsea, Devin, or Jar Jar. Fuck you. <laughs> Fool me once. That was a long way to go to a Star Wars joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I made a really relatable premise. <laughs> yeah, we all do that. Like, you know, fucking 20 year old movies sucked, right? I don't know. I got problems, guys. Um, <laughs> I made a joke earlier, I don't, work, I, I don't actually uh, work a target. I had worked all over the place though. I, uh, I waited tables for a long time. I'm glad to not have to do that anymore. Woo, was I a bad waiter, you guys. <laughs> not good at it. It was, it was, it was all right. I just like, I don't know, I never had my heart in it. I was always just too aware of like, what a primitive job it was. And I'm not trying to put it down, we need it. It's just like, man, of all the things I could be doing, I could be like helping sick people or solving crimes. I'm just fucking relaying information between strangers in a room. You know what I mean? No language barrier. These aren't important messages. Like, this is me at work. This is how I made my living for like four years. I would go up to people I've never met and just be like, hey guys, I saw you sitting here. Are you guys hungry? It'd be weird if you weren't. Okay. I'll go tell somebody. <laughs> Go to a different room, like, hey, there's people out here, they're hungry. I'll come back in a while and get some food, okay? Whoa, that's it, you guys. That's how I, that's how I paid my rent for a long time. With the skill set of a nine-year-old whose parents are fighting. That's it. That's all I needed. All I needed. <laughs> oh, I keep mentioning my age. When I turned 30, I, um... I decided I was gonna do something, do something good with my life. I decided I was gonna quit smoking cigarettes, and I did successfully quit smoking cigarettes. Oh, thank you, thank you guys, thank you, thank you. Uh, before I go any further, let me tell you, uh, my drug use has skyrocketed. So, <laughs> if you wanna roll back that applause for, for my nobility a second ago, I'll allow it. <laughs> No, 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 I think there's no wrong way to get to a goal, like to achieve a goal, you know, like uh, if you want to quit smoking cigarettes, that's your goal, it doesn't matter, do, do the patch, go cold turkey, do the gum, vape, do whatever you like, I just made up a system wherein every time I thought of a cigarette, how nice that would be, I smoked some weed. <laughs> and I am happy to stand here and tell you I cannot remember the last time I had a cigarette, you guys. <laughs> By the way, a second ago I said my drug use has skyrocketed. That is a true statement, but also it's, I, I phrased it in too scary of a way. <laughs> drug use sounds really intense. I'm just smoking pot. Drug use might conjure up some images of like hard drugs and like the seedy underbelly of Lansing or something. Like what's this guy getting himself mixed up in? Just weed. I need you guys to know that. If you see me sucking dick outside later, that's unrelated. I'm just doing that for sport. It's a whole other thing. A whole other thing happening out there. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I got to be like a weird, uh, just, I just feel weird. I'm in my 30s. I thought, I guess like if you asked me as a kid, what kind of 30-year-old would you become? I'm like, oh, probably like slowly becoming like this graceful, mature adult guy or whatever. That's not it. That's not the 30 that I got. I got a weird 30, you guys. Um, I got a coffee at Taco Bell the other day. Yeah. Did, did you know you could do that? Coffee at the Taco Bell. The kid in the fucking speaker box wasn't sure. He was like 50-50. I'm like, yeah, can I get a coffee? Like, uh, I think. There's a dusty button on my register. I'll push it. We'll see what happens. So that's it. That's like the kind of third-year-old I became. The, the kind that would get a coffee at a Taco Bell drive-thru at 5.30 p.m. on a Thursday to go with his sack of dollar menu bullshit. You know what I mean? That's the 30 I got. I didn't get your average 30. I'm 30 in the way that like if you mushed a 55 and an 18-year-old together. 
here you go, that's the 30 I got. I fucking go out drinking all night, I wake up and my legs hurt in the morning. Like that's, that's where we're at, 30, it's great.